love you, Dad. I love you, too. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey, guys. I've uh, been asked to do an update on the rocket mass and what better way to do it than showing you the first fire of the year for me. So uh, this is what, uh, if you check out uh, my other videos on the rocket mass heater one, part one, part two, and part three, you'll see where we put all this together. But I wanted to show you the ash in here. Uh, it's very, very little ash to the whole thing. It's, it's way less than a quarter of an inch of ash. So, that's not bad. But I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Put the lid back on. And this year, I actually have a snap ring lid going here. I can't do it with one hand. Hang on one second. And I mostly got it on here, so <laughs> I can bring it up here and lock it in. Just like that. A lot more efficient than I had last year. I wanted to show you what kind of pieces of wood I put in the back here. They're just about this size right here. And I just get them in here. Push them to the back. There we go. Yeah, got that off of that. Now I wanted to show you the the collar. I got the collar set up for tall stuff, and I'll show you how to use that in a minute. First off, I take a cardboard and I kind of just bend it up some and rip it up and just put it in there. But I like to take a few pieces and stand them up in there. Also, and then I'll take my kindling, which is just a little piece of two by four, split up, put it down there. Right All right, I take a few pieces of. Uh, paper bag. This will be a paper bag. And I put them in there behind the wood and around the wood. Uh, next, I'm going to try to light this, the end, and stick it down in there. And I'm going to try to block off as much as that as I can while the fire's down below. It worked last year. And I don't have to light it. One light. Let me catch right on. Let me get set up and then we'll try it. All right, we're actually setting fire on my lap. <laughs> there we go. That burning good. One match start method. <laughs> yeah. After one year of not running, and here we go. Alright, as that's burning, I have some 
pieces of uh, this oak uh, flooring actually I had and a little scrap and I, I split it up some but I'm going to slide a piece of that in there and kind of put it in front of the the kindling just like that so it'll, it'll catch up when I'm getting my bigger pieces started and it, it's uh, going pretty good and uh, I'll take these longer ones and go right down to the collar okay, so I like to put the big side down so that all these knots will just slide right in just like that and well, they'll get started and then burn for hours as they work their way down. My upper seal has a little bit of a leak in it, but uh, that really won't matter because the top actually uh, bents out. So it won't get smoky in here. Let me tell you, this upper part right here, it is really putting off the heat. Intense heat, so I put a, a pot of water on there. Let's see how long it takes it to boil. Burning good in there. Alright, it's uh, burning well. have to do some more rock work and so that I can make it look pretty again. But the, the barrel, I had to sit back some because it was putting off so much heat that close to the aquaponics. So I hope it does something. Uh, it's going over there and the whole bench is kind of steaming now. So it's uh, its first year of being relit. I think tomorrow I'm going to run a hose and bury it with cob all along the bench and pump it all night long into my uh, tanks and see if uh, that won't work for a water heater <clears throat> or at least help all right guys uh, the bench is about 140 degrees right now it's been kind of a warm day it's just now getting cold uh, so but it's 140 degrees right now. That's about its maximum that I've seen. I mean, some mass could probably get it hotter, but uh, my bench, about 140 degrees is what it is. So these sticks are going to sit here and inch their way down for the next few hours. I'm going to put a couple more in there. And it'll just burn for several We'll say that like five hours and it's not going to be freezing tonight but uh, it's going to be a little bit chilly it's going to be in the full well, lower I mean the higher 30s so 39 they're saying so I'm just going to keep the chill out of the air in here so for the fish so maybe don't affect them too much all right guys one ove ocho means I love you in Hebrew and I mean it there, guys. I want to show you what's coming out the other end, and there's just no heat at all coming out there. No smell. The pipe's not. This pipe's cold. That's your man. Living the way you meant for me to live. Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery From all this worldly pain and captivity for you lord i'll go for green living i 
feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady. For you, Lord, I'll go.